welcome guys in this new lecture of digital system design using multisim in this lecture we are going to see how to design 4 bit serial in serial out shift register now you can see the diagram of a 3 bit serial in serial out shift register this is using d flip flop and it is positive edge triggered clock so basically serial in serial out is nothing but data is entered into the first flip-flop and then it is transmitted or shifted in a serial manner in forward direction so this is a serial in serial out shift register starting from left side and then shifting the bit in onto the corresponding clock pulse onto the right side so we are going to design this and let's verify the operation of serial in serial out for a 4 bit shift register the first thing we are going to need is D flip flop so let's start with placing the component so I'll write here D and it will give me this D flip flop let me copy this okay so this is D flip flop again I need 4 D flip flops so this is number 2 then this is number 3 and this is number 4 okay now I need clock so I'll write I'll go to this source digital sources interactive digital constant this will be the input that I'll be needing in the first flip-flop and the clock input for the clock pulse then I need probe to indicate my output so I'll be using this red color probe and I'll show output after every flip-flop so one two three and four okay that's it I think okay so let's make the necessary connections first input will be gone to this first flip-flop the output of first flip-flop is connected to the second flip-flop input second flip-flop output is connected to third flip-flop input and then third flip-flop output is connected to fourth flip-flop input okay common clock pulse positive edge triggered has been provided to all the flip-flops so this is synchronous shift register because same clock pulse is going into all the flip-flops set and reset inputs for the time being let's make it as it is let it be disconnected okay now let me connect the outputs probes so this will help me to understand how my data is being shifted now what I'll do I'll change this clock pulse to 10 so that you can visualize the bits movement or bits shifting okay that's it let's run and see okay currently zero is there so all outputs are zero and you cannot visualize what is going on but once I'll change it to one you can see that now one has come here then shifted here then shifted here and then shifted to the final flip final flip-flop so this is how serial in serial out shift register basically works that's it for this lecture and we'll meet in the next lecture thank you